Hey what's up guys, today I'll be doing something different than unboxing something or playing a game. Today I'll give you a mic comparison between my new headset, the Astro A50, um, with different settings of the Astro A50 of course, because it has a lot of settings for the mic, uh, as well as a comparison to other mics from different headsets that I've had in the past, and uh, other mics like the mic I have on my PC for my recordings and stuff like that. Uh, the reason I'm going to do this is because um, I've seen some questions on the internet like from people uh, who were asking like yeah, Does it have a good mic? It's a wireless headset. So Some uh, sometimes it, the mic is not too good and I've seen some complaints from people who said the mic wasn't good uh, I personally my experience. It is a very good mic uh, My my voice is a lot clearer with this mic than it has been on all previous uh, headsets I've had <coughs> And um, but yeah, I thought I would let you guys decide for yourself. So I'm gonna do a mic test. I'm just going to uh, say within the mic test uh, which mic I'm using from which headset, and uh, if I'm using it uh, from the Astro, I will say you with which settings, of course, because there are a lot of different settings, and they all have impact on how you sound. And yeah, so let's do that. Okay, this is the first mic test. This is the Triton Kunai. Um, it's the wired edition, of course, for the Xbox One. Also uh, useful for the PC. Okay, this is the second mic, which is the Trustmaster 300 CPX Doom Edition. Um, it's available for the 360, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. So it's the most compatible headset. Okay, testing now is the mic built in into my MZ laptop, which is an MZ GP60 2PE Le Leopard. Um, this is just the standard mic that comes with it. So, so the one we are testing right now is the Trust USB microphone. I'm not sure if you can plug it in into your Xbox One and that it works, but but I think you can because I believe I heard that from someone that you can just plug in USB. Uh, microphones into the Xbox One and use them for chatting of course uh, but I use it for my uh, laptop while making these videos if I make comments before the video or after the video because during gaming obviously I just record the chat but between that if I want to say something to you guys then it's recorded with this very microphone okay we're currently recording with uh, Xbox 360 wireless headset which was that a mono headset, uh, which you see, of course, in a picture in the video, uh, which I had for back in the day for the 360. So uh, I had to include it just for all bounds sake, of course. I am currently testing the OnePlus One cell phone. Um, this will be the last thing, except uh, before I go to the Astro A50, of course. So this is all to just give you an impression on different microphones, different devices different headphones so hopefully this helps okay we're currently testing the Astro A50 headset um, the settings are on streaming which is the most natural of all of the settings and it's on warm so it should sound uh, a little more beautiful than usual you know so hopefully we can hear that as well so we're testing currently the Astro A50, it's on streaming and then bright settings. So it should sound quite clear. We're currently testing the Astro A50 headset, it's on streaming and then airy settings. So it should still be uh, pretty clear, but it should also sound uh, a little lighter than the other two settings. Okay, we're currently testing the Astro A50, it's on night and then bright in settings, um, which means that it should be the most natural one, but it also allows for the most amount of background noise, because in the night, in the night sorry, there usually isn't any background noise. Okay, we're currently testing the Astro A50 headset, it's on night and airy mode, Night, obviously, as I uh, explained earlier, allows for more background noise and is the most natural of them all. Um, and airy, of course, makes it a little lighter than the other two warm and bright settings.
Okay, we're currently testing the Astro A50 headset. It's on night mode and then warm, so it's the most natural and friendly sounding um, of all of these settings. Okay, we're testing the Astro A50 headset. It's on home and then bright. Um, home mode is obviously the mode it's standardly on. It uh, reduces quite a lot of the background noise and also of your voice, so it mi may sound a bit um, misformed, but it's not the most aggressive of them all. Okay, we're currently testing the Astro A50 headset. It's on home and then on airy in settings, so yeah, hopefully um, it shouldn't make my voice too weird. Okay, we're currently testing the Astro A50 headset. It's on um, home in settings and then warm. So it should be still quite natural, but not as natural of course as night and streaming. And this is the last of the home settings before we go to the most aggressive one, which is tournament, which really can misform your voice. Okay, we're testing the Astro A50 headset. And now you should really start hearing my voice misform, um, especially because this tournament mode is really, really aggressive on the background noise. Because obviously, if you're playing in a tournament, there might be a lot of background um, noise from the crowds and uh, all the teammates yelling next to you, sitting next to you in the same room. So this is the most aggressive. Okay, we're testing the Astro A50 headset. It's still on tournament mode, the most aggressive of all of these modes, and it's on airy now. So it should be a little lighter than the previous one, but still, because it's on tournament mode, my voice may sound a little weird. Okay, we're currently testing the Astro A50 headset. It's on tournament mode and then warm. Um, this is the last of all the settings. I'm also going to try and change the USB mic level and the side tone, but I'm just going to use the extremes there just to show the big difference in these things um, to be able to explain them of course, but I don't recommend changing these too much. Okay, to show you the differences in USB mic level, I've put it to the maximum of course now. Um, the standard settings are streaming and warm. Well, at least these are the standard settings that I use. So I'm going to differ in USB uh, mic level now, as well as in the side tone level. But I will do that in a second. Okay, we're currently testing the Astro A50 headset. I put the USB mic level down. I can't put it fully down, of course, because if you do that, you can't even hear me. And even now, you will probably just barely hear me because it's a bit. Um, these settings are to uh, to say how much noise you need to pick up. So lowering them really isn't very smart. It's well unless you have a really loud environment, of course. Okay, we're currently testing the Astro A50 headset, and it's on maximum side tone now, which should give like more background noises. But luckily, I'm in a very quiet room, so you probably won't even notice the difference. Okay, we're currently testing the Astro A50 headset. I've lowered the side tone, which should um, cancel even more noise out. So my voice will probably in volume be a little lower, but um, you won't notice much of the background noise because there is none. So you can't cancel it out, sadly. But you can't put it um, the side tone level on minimum, of course, because if you do that on the lowest, lowest level, then simply your mic is off because it cancels out all the noise. Oof, that was a pretty long list of all mic tests <laughs> of all the headsets I've had and all the different settings available in Astro. So hopefully this helped you in some way. Um, and if you want to buy it, it's an expensive, obviously a very expensive headset. And you gotta decide for yourself it's, if it's worth it or not. Um, well, hopefully this video helped you and if it did, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe and hopefully I will see you guys next time. And if you've got any questions by the way, just ask, I don't mind answering them.